Good morning, Patriot High School. I'm Logan Russell. And I'm Justin Mason. The closer you are to finishing high school, the closer you are to college. And whether or not college sounds like your forte, everyone is going to need a career at some point in their future. A career can usually be described as a job or a few jobs that someone undertakes over a significant portion of their life, so what you do with it must be chosen wisely. Some pioneers want to gear themselves towards sciences and engineering, while others find the arts more to their liking, and a select few think they can get by on either charm or a pretty face. Ultimately, deciding on what you do with your life can't possibly be determined by just one factor. It's the advantages and disadvantages of both the career and your current position in life that should let you give your final verdict. A lifelong schedule should preferably not only pay your bills, but should be enjoyable enough to keep you coming back. Because no matter how much you get paid, working in a certain position, if you hate that job, it can't keep you there forever. Your position outside of an occupation should affect your decisions as well. Say you recently finished college, then you might want to put your accumulated assets to use before you lose them. Age is also an important factor in getting hired for a position. Younger candidates are much more likely to be hired by corporations, whether it be because the youth always has an extra pep in their step or because they don't know all the benefits they should be getting quite as well as the more experienced citizens. I'm here with Marjan. Uh, what careers are you considering for your future? Um, there's a lot. I mean, because I do a little bit of everything. I do like sports, music, and like, I want to go into medicine, health science, like cardiothoracic engineering, or surgeon, or anything, honestly. Are any of your classes or after school activities helping? Not really for the medicine part, but I do like a cappella club and like a bunch of stuff for music. And I might try out for something this year for sports, but I don't know yet. What should be the deciding factor for your ideal career? Whichever one I like more. I mean, I like all of them, so it's kind of hard to decide, but yeah. How well do you think you are preparing yourself? I think pretty well, except for the medicine part, because like that's kind of hard. But it's something I really want to do. So I'll work towards it. I'm here with Uli. What careers are you considering for your future? Um, considering becoming a flight attendant. Uh, I want to become a pilot as well, and then I want to look into cosmetology uh, and becoming an esthetician as well. Are any of your classes or after school activities helping? Currently, none of my classes or after school activities are helping. Uh, what should be the deciding factor for your ideal career? The deciding factor would probably be if it's like tolerable and if I like doing what I'm doing. How well do you think you're preparing yourself for it? I'm preparing myself mediocre, you know, like not too much, not too little, just doing the right amount. You're with? Casey. Okay, Casey. What careers are you considering for your future? Um, anything in the medical field, preferably something with neuroscience. Okay. Are any of your classes or after school activities helping you prepare for this? Yeah, um, I'm an AP Bio and AP Psych and I'm also an EMT. Mm, nice. What should be the deciding factor for your ideal career? Um, I really just want a job where I can help people. That's my main goal. Oh, nice. How well do you think you're preparing yourself for the career of your dreams? Um, pretty well. I mean, I'm spending most of my senior year being an EMT, which is pretty hard, so... I'm doing all I can to get prepared. And now for your regular announcements. The GSA will meet on the first and third Thursdays of the month from 2.15 to 3.15 in room 1103. Attention seniors, don't miss the chance to get your free class t-shirt. Make sure you pay your class dues of $25 before winter break in the annex office. And for WPHS TV, I'm Logan Russell. And I'm Skylar Huffman. And have, have a, a great, great day, day, pioneers. pioneers.